Hey, this is Sunil. I want to give you an update on what's going on with the Spring Free EV Contest. Um, this contest really is about climate change and something that we can do about climate change uh, with accelerating the pace of electric vehicle adoption. Um, seems like every day we hear more and more terrifying information about what's going on with, with climate change. The science is clear. Uh, we are facing a threat to our way of life, the way of our children's lives and future generations, and it can be immobilizing. What can we do? Well, um, I have an idea that if successful could end up having a significant impact on climate. And it is actually pretty simple. It is because of a phenomena around electric vehicles. They're pretty expensive to buy up front, but their total lifetime cost is typically uh, lower than uh, an internal combustion car. Uh, and in places where that is not yet true, it soon will be within a matter of years. So the insight is, well, what if you could reduce the cost up front and have it paid back over time? It's an idea I call the Mileage Purchase Agreement, or MPA. Simple idea. The real challenge is, how do we get product market fit? And so I've launched a contest called the Spring Free EV uh, Contest. You can go to springfreeev.com for more details. And that contest is designed to go figure out product market fit. What does that mean? That means, what exactly is the formulation of the product, of this financial innovation? Is it just about miles? Is it, does it also include uh, energy? Um, does it uh, also need to wrap in the charger? Are there other aspects of the product definition, this idea of a mileage purchase agreement, that need to be modified in order to really match up with the demand? Um, on the demand side, maybe it's in the US, maybe it's in India or China or Argentina or any number of other places. Um, maybe it's for fleets, maybe it's for consumers, um, maybe it's high-end uh, consumers, maybe it's um, uh, middle, maybe it's low-income consumers. You get an idea that you have to get these things to work right. And when product market fit happens, it grows dramatically. I'll give you an example. In Colorado, in the United States, there was a, a finance innovation introduced in 2010 of uh, what's called solar leasing or PPAs. That kind of third party financing of solar went from zero to 75% of solar installs in just two years. So that same kind of uh, innovation can happen here. It is a function of getting product market fit. So um, a quick update on what's happened so far. Um, we've gotten uh, I think 18 applications from around the world. I think we're up to eight countries. Um, three of them have been approved to go ahead and get started. Um, I will come back with details. I've asked them for what specifically can I say publicly about their proposals. Um, but I think I can say that one of them is going after a kind of affiliate model. Another one is going after two and three wheelers in India. Um, and another one is going after uh, uh, fleet uh, sales um, in the United States for, um, yeah, fleet sales in the United States. Um, let's see. So what else? This is a contest that uh, the, re the reward is first to basically do something about climate change, which means that it's not just for EV experts or FinTech experts. If you are someone who's just energetic and has experience in social media, has experience in, uh, in advertising, has experience in, in regulation, uh, there are uh, lots of different ways to go about tackling um, this product market fit challenge. The prize at the end is $10,000 for whoever comes up with the best. Um, and in the meantime, there will be uh, weekly mentoring sessions um, with me. And if I get 
too many uh, uh, opportunities or too many organizations doing this, then I'll pull in other experienced entrepreneurs. But every week we'll be interacting to, to continue to work down uh, the funnel to figure out what really is going to drive this and cause it to, to grow in a big way. Um, also, every team uh, gets a reimbursable budget up to $1,000 for, for their direct costs. The judges at the end of this um, are all accomplished, interesting people. We have the person who first came up with a PPA, the Power Purchase Agreement uh, model in solar, Jigger Shaw. Um, we have uh, a woman who has taken financial innovation uh, from the solar industry and applied it to uh, the fertility world, uh, Claire Tompkins. Um, we have uh, the co-founder and CEO of the largest solar loan provider in the United States, Billy Parrish. And we've got a uh, former executive of the largest solar company in the world, um, who's now a venture capitalist, continuing to invest in this category from Obvious Ventures, Andrew Beebe. Um, so really interesting group of people involved. Uh, we're going to come back. I'll tell you more in the future about the teams and how they're coming about. The deadline is this Friday. Friday the 13th, uh, Lucky Friday, is, uh, is the deadline for initial proposals. I encourage you to send me an early proposal. Um, I can provide feedback to make sure that it's going to be something that, that will work. Um, and... And then we've got all the way, at least until the end of January, I may extend the deadline um, past or, uh, the end of January to allow teams to, to really iterate on these different ideas. So if we are successful, if we are successful with this project, um, we will end up figuring out product market fit, something that normally takes startups months or years and sometimes never, uh, they never actually figure it out. Like we could make this happen in a matter of what three months from the beginning. Like that's pretty astounding, and most importantly, we will have gotten to something that truly could scale to be a big solution for uh, for climate change. My personal goals out of this are first to have this kind of big impact. Um, along the way, there may be interesting companies that are interesting to invest in. Um, and it has already occurred to me that uh, there may be a need for a bank or a financial entity kind of in the middle of this that can, that can provide capital out to um, these different companies. I am um, willing, through Spring Ventures, to provide the first $300,000 of debt capital to uh, a mileage purchase agreement program so that we can kind of bootstrap this whole thing but we have to figure out exactly what's gonna, how that's gonna work in the first place. So, wow, really gratified that we've gotten so much energy and excitement around this. Like this is potentially breakthrough, not just in the ability to take, um, you know, this idea, this mileage purchase agreement, and turn it into something, you know, that could have a big impact on climate. Um, but it's also an interesting experiment in taking an idea and having impact at all. Um, it really does involve kind of letting go of the normal process. Um, and in that way, there's a lot more to talk about, and I hope to uh, have talked more about that in future videos and, and blogs, etc. So stay up to date on this. Go to Spring Venture, uh, sorry, to springfreeev.com. Um, sign up to be on the mailing list or to participate. We I'd love much more participation out of this. Um, follow on LinkedIn, uh, my account, Sunil Paul. Follow on Twitter, uh, my account, Sunil Paul. Uh, follow here on the YouTube channel. Um, and there will be more coming. Um, thank you. Thank you for everything that's happening here. I'm so excited. We're going to have a big impact here.